established player out on the market in the way of outboard engines. And these are using fuel, okay? This is propane fuel. And I actually have the inventor, CEO, founder of Lear with us today. This is Captain uh, Bernardo Herzer. And hello, Thank you. Bernardo. Thank, Thank you. you for coming down here. I said, I'm so excited to be on Shipshape TV. Thank you for having me. Bernardo's actually won with Popular Mechanics, his technology. He's won with Popular Science. There's a big, huge EPA award. What, what was that? That was the EPA Clean Air Excellence Award. And we were awarded that for helping to improve the nation's air quality for our technology. He's invented, built, manufactured for big companies like Craftsman. You've co-branded. Okay, right. it's been Craftsman, Craftsman by, powered, powered by, by Lear. Lear. correct. Okay, this guy comes with a lot of juice. You've been working on these outboard engines for about five years. Correct. Are these engines, are these, are these two-stroke or are these four-stroke? No, these are four-stroke engines and have valves and oil in the crank, just like the car you drive today. Right, right. Um, so th these are very, very tested, very durable engines. I mean, we've been working on this project for a very long time. We've taken the best designs, the best parts of the engine, designed it to the utmost uh, endurance. What are the different horsepower uh, options that we have with these two engines right here? Because I, ne I need an engine for this Walker Bay. Um, this is a 2.5 horsepower outboard motor. That, that might be a little uh, too small for what I'm going for. Well, let me give you the good news. I've got a five horsepower engine here. Five and, horsepower, and, okay. and I also want to make it clear that when you run five horsepower in propane, it is five horsepower. It doesn't matter the fuel. It's five horsepower, whether you're running methane, alcohol, propane, diesel, gasoline, five horsepower is five horsepower. Show us where the fuel actually gets put into the motor. Well, this is one of the patented systems of uh, the Lear propane outboards, and it can use one of these disposable tanks that you might have in your garage. Okay, this that's a one pound tank, and a lot of boaters are familiar with these, they might have some type of a grill on board where you're currently uh, stowing these. Correct, and if you're just gonna use the engine for a little while, you know, an hour or less, you can use one of these. Now, if you plan on spending a day, extended time out at, you can go to the front, remove the plug, use the hose, connect your barbecue tank or a composite tank that won't rust, like this one here. Okay, this, this is, made from fiberglass. This is a composite material and salt water, you know, somebody might consider that. Correct. Okay. What's the problem with gasoline? Where, where, where does that come from? What region of the world does that come from? Well, the majority of the, the, the biggest producers of oil, oil today are from the Middle East. In okay. the United States today, we are an exporter of propane and natural gas. I mean, we've got an abundance of it. Um, it's funny enough, we're importing foreign oil to run things like internal combustion engines, and yet we're exporting things like propane. Okay, l let's talk about propane, gasoline. What's a safer fuel? Well, it, you know, they're both a combustible fuel. Okay. And uh, the reality of it is, though, you wouldn't use gasoline to power or heat your home or to cook on. In most applications today, we're screwing in a bottle of propane, right? Turning on the flame and reaching over and lighting it. Something you would never do with gasoline, correct? In industry, uh, is anybody using propane? Unbelievably, it's the third largest used fuel in the world for internal combustion engines. In Europe, things like auto gas, a huge percentage of cars run on it. In the United States, in, it, it, here it's coming. It's getting more and more. In the consumer side, when it comes to commercial, look around. The buses are running on it, the taxis are running on it. I mean, you, maybe even your garbage truck is running well, on it I don't want to date myself, but if you take a look at my son Hayden, okay, 18 years old, all right, when I was his age, I was actually running a tow motor that was powered by propane. This has been around for a long time. It's a proven technology, and today, with the amounts of propane and natural gas that are available, we're going into a gaseous fuel economy. How much is gasoline per gallon versus propane per gallon? Does one cost more than the other? If you buy propane in bulk and are in your last tanks, you can get it under or at approximately the $2 range, where gasoline is, highly, is, is more expensive. It might expensive. be twice that expensive. Correct. So actually what you've done 
you might have just made boating affordable again for somebody. It's not only affordable because of the cost of the fuel. You're going to have less repairs, less gumming of the carburetors, right? Less ethanol issues, less water in the fuel. What, what about long-term winter storage? There is no winterizing with propane. There's no issues with that. What about environmentally? Because you've won awards in this, in this area. Correct. There's no mercury going in the water. There's no ozone depleting potential. You reduce your carbon by 96%. How much is that engine versus a, a gasoline similar five horsepower motor? What price? Apples to apples, what's it gonna run me? The same. Very, 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 very close in price point. We want the consumer to be the judge of this great product.